Good afternoon world. We're heading up to watch some tree planting, which is going on, which has been organized by the DNR. That's the Department of Natural Resources. They're putting up a sign, are they? Okay. So they're actually doing some tree planting today to help repopulate the forest. Does Sorry get to plant her own tree? Yeah. Oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's find the right type of tree. Maybe you can put your name on it, Story. That would be nice, a permanent reminder of our time here. Check it out, look at the view. Hi. <laughs> That's a cute tree, isn't it? It's a tree. Yeah, look at that. All right, you've chosen your spot, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to cut a little space for you. Dig a little hole. <laughs> this is going to be your tree, Story. How cool. <laughs> you can come back one day, Story, in a year's time and see it nice and big. And you say, I planted that. Alright, making it nice and deep. It's quite a big turnout today for a tree planting event. Yeah. There's so many people. Yeah. Must be like quite important to the community. Yeah. To advertise everyone to plant trees. Yeah, yeah. Love the environment. Yeah, make an effort. We need to protect nature, don't we? Yeah, That's right. The nature. You can see how many people have got the same idea. Good morning everyone. It's a new day. Bye, Mutag. Bye, Mutag. We are exploring somewhere new. We had quite the night last night. Story really enjoyed dancing to the reggae music. There was a local band that had come down. Actually, there were quite a few local bands and each of them played their own specialty and their own type of reggae and it was just so fun to see Story really enjoying the dancing. In fact, she was the only person dancing. There was a point where we joined her for a little bit, but no one else hit the dance floor. Story really, really took to it, closed her eyes and enjoyed the tunes. It's nice to see musicians going at it again and like feeling the passion for their craft. You can always feel something special when you hear live music that you don't get from just listening to it on the speaker. We stayed and listened and danced for about an hour before we turned in for the night. The weather was nice and cool. It was cool enough for Story to be dancing in her jumper hoodie. We had long sleeves on as well. It's really nice to be in the mountain environment. We ate a local corn snack that they make here. It was very much like the rice and coconut milk snack that we get on Shargao Island. But this one was made of corn and tasted like corn. It was delicious. It was definitely a nice way to round up the evening. Admittedly, we did go to bed quite early. I think we were already asleep by 8.30. Often it's like that when you don't have any internet or any entertainment or electronic stimulation. But it was nice to hear the loud music and to just be part of a party vibe again. As a complete contrast to the party vibe, we've now come to a monastery this morning. The Monastery of Transfiguration, it's called. One of the reasons why we wanted to come here is because the monks that live here actually have their own blend of coffee. They actually brew their own coffee and blend their own coffee here. And they've got a cafe on site. We haven't had any breakfast yet, so we've turned up early in the morning. I think it's actually a little bit too early. And we're gonna try out the monks blend coffee. We have actually tried this coffee before, haven't we? Yeah, we sent some, haven't we? Yeah. This is the Abbey Cafe, part of the Monastery of Transfiguration here in Bukidnon. I think it's open. We're here really early, so it's 7 30 in the morning. So yeah. we're just finding out if the cafe is actually open. We're 30 minutes we too might early. Have to wait a little bit. This is I very can rare. Smell the coffee though already. Yeah, <laughs> Abbey gift shop. This is what makes it special. Brewed by monks. Monks coffee is not the first thing you think of when you think of a monastery and monks. I'm not sure if we'll see any monks today. No, it's not open yet. Ah, oh, it's closed at the moment, yeah? Okay. <laughs> Let's go for a little walk around then first. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it, Story? Yeah. What do you think of it? Yeah, it looks really good. So what does it look inside. like? It looks like a pyramid. It does look like a pyramid, doesn't it? Yeah, we can go inside, but Poppy can't come, okay? So this is the Church of the Transfiguration of the Lord. They've really made an effort with this place. Look at the shape. I found a fairy house. 
house. A fairy house? What are you talking about? This white thing? Yeah. Uh, might be a lamp. Look at these beautiful bonsai trees. Story, have you ever seen a bonsai tree before? It's like a full-size tree, but it's been made miniature. Can you see that? Yeah, it's going to grow soon. Yeah, you have to keep changing the pot. You have to keep the pot bigger and bigger so that it grows slowly and you have to chop the leaves with a pair of scissors. It looks so cool from this angle. It looks like a modern pyramid. Can you see the birds, Story, flying in front? Yeah. It looks yeah, sweet. Look yeah, that's so cool. It's very atmospheric. Very cinematic. I think probably it's a good idea, yeah. Let's take them off and when we go inside, okay? Okay, let's walk in and see. It's a big place actually. This is what it looks like on the inside. What have you seen? There is a big rock there, isn't there? That's interesting. But now, story, we haven't got any shoes. Goodness me. <laughs> we have to walk back round again. <laughs> this is really beautiful. It's nice to come here in the morning light and to see these little swift birds all flying around. And from this angle, looking back towards the road, you can see the beautiful Bukit Non Mountains in the distance. Oh, and story has gone to get our shoes. Salamat. Haven't seen any monks yet. Apparently on Sundays at 8 o'clock in the morning they do their morning mass here so that's a good time to come if you want to make sure you're going to see the monks otherwise they are probably just brewing coffee all day <laughs> that's what it says on the sign so we're going to go and check it out see what it tastes like got lots of candles lit here yeah they leave the candles here for you you put them and light it and then you leave a donation and they've actually got matches there would you like to light a candle story? okay the story is lighting a candle with the other candle so we don't need to use any of their matches. Did you do it? <laughs> nice. We'll put four in a row, yeah? One for Poppy too. Okay, there's the second one. We could do like a little family row. Like one Poppy's for Poppy. one. Yeah, like Poppy's one on my one. Okay, there we go. Put your one in. Good job. Oh, well. Got it? <laughs> oh, you put the other one out. Four candles there. We're gonna put some donations in the little box to say thanks for the candles. It's a fun little experience. <laughs> That's it. Silence, monks at prayer. Right, time to say goodbye, monastery, and then back to the Abbey Cafe. Salama. One thing that I've really liked about traveling around in the Philippines so far is that it hasn't been pet unfriendly. You know, they're not allowed everywhere, but pretty much anywhere we go there's a way to travel with your dog it makes it a little bit more difficult but not impossible okay I'm entering in through the gift shop area what kind of food related snacks have they got they have the, some mushroom chicharons oh yeah vegan and this is the monks blend premium coffee this is what Alvin sent us when we were still at Mila's house a while back and that's how we know about this place I've forgotten how it tastes actually yeah. Yeah, we should get the premium. Get the whole bean, and then we can bean. grind it at home. Yeah, then we'll know exactly how it's supposed to taste. Super fresh. Yeah. So they said pets aren't allowed inside the cafe, but they have got some outdoor tables here. So I'm sure we can sit here with Pops and have a look at this beautiful view. This is the inside of the cafe. What have we found, Story? A mango drink. A mango drink? Nice. You can sit outside with Poppy. If you look up on the walls here, you can see the monks doing the coffee brewing. This is cool because if you don't get to see it in person, at least you can see that they're actually doing it. I wonder how long this has been going on for. Check this out. They are actually harvesting the beans. So I wasn't sure about that before. It's a full blending process. You see that? There's pictures of them actually harvesting the beans as well. No, I didn't know. It's just kind of roasted and... I thought, yeah, just the blend, yeah, but it looks like it, they actually pick their own beans too. Check this out, they even have Tesco tea. That's weird because we get Tesco a lot in the UK, but on the island you don't see anything like that. Chocolate cake, durian pie, mango cream, blueberry cheesecake, chantilly and egg pie. Story's found a nice place to sit outside, enjoy the breeze, enjoy her mango drink. Look at that big mug of brewed coffee. This will wake us up in the morning. <laughs> yeah. 
from Abbey I Cafe. I like big mugs. Yeah. <laughs> cheers, Jean Jean. Yeah, cheers. Let's drink mm. coffee. Ah. How's it taste? It's quite good. Yeah. Mm. The taste is good. We didn't even like platito. Though. It's mellow. Salamat. So we've got this pico. It's like the rice and coconut milk dish, right? Yeah. yeah. And what makes it brown? Sugar? The sugar. It's got sugar inside. And the, it's gonna be the, sweet. The the what do you call that? The coconut milk. If it's being uh, syrup, yeah. it's oh, syrup. Oh, like a caramel yeah, style. Yeah, caramel. A caramelized and, coconut. Uh, yes, caramel. Oh, and then. Oh, they cook it like that. Yeah, yeah. I see. How's the coffee for you? Mm. It's really nice. It's a good blend, isn't it? Yeah, look at the size of the mug as well. It's like <laughs> a proper English brew mug, isn't yeah, it? Like, that's, whoa. That's coffee. the first thing I noticed, yeah. It's a beer mug. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a beer mug. When you go to a cafe in the UK, they give you a massive mug like this, you huh? know, like all the way to the top. <laughs> They're kind of like uh, local cafes, you know, where the builders eat uh, yeah. like heavy breakfast. They'll give you this type of coffee, but it's Builders nice. Builders brew, they call it. Builders brew, yeah. <laughs> Here we've got Monk's Brew. In the UK, it's like a builder's brew. <laughs> Story, what do you think of the rice pudding? Really good. The, it's called Biko. Is it tasty? Yeah, really good. Oh, I'm glad she's enjoying it. And like, what a nice location. Oh, yeah. I can see a cow on the field over there. <laughs> Mountain so view. Yeah. It's better than sitting inside the cafe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you, Poppy. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just leaving the cafe now. I'm appreciating the photography here. It's really cool. They've got like a library shot here. Gives you a little bit of a taste of what life is like here. The total bill for the coffee and the Biko was 391 pesos. Now we're gonna buy some of these coffee beans to take home with us. Premium whole bean. And we'll let you know how that tastes when we get home to our grinder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get some of these mushroom chicharrons. This one is just the plain flavor. And this one's chili garlic, both vegan. I checked the ingredients. The oh, that's nice paper. So these species can only be found in the Philippines and they're in danger of extinction. Oh, okay. It's all animals that are going extinct. Looks like good paper actually. What for Story to do some drawings? Yeah. And we'll get this for Story as well, this little box. She'll love that. She likes little boxes, doesn't she? She does. She <laughs> loves to stuff things in like <laughs> places. <laughs> yeah. I just opened this book and there's a picture of that rock we just saw. It says the grand altar is made of volcanic rock. So that's what it is. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. So we're about to say goodbye to this beautiful scenery. I really love the variety of the trees here. It's just spectacular. So we are heading back to Surigao City now. <laughs> <laughs> you little hijacker. <laughs> Okay, we're, in the in the middle. Middle. In we're gonna check into a little apartment before our trip back to Shargal the next day. Have you enjoyed your trip to the mountains? Hmm? You like yeah. the Hobbit house? Yeah, I wish I wish I can go there again. Yeah, I think that would be nice. Can another and day. today we're driving to the holiday. Yeah, we're going yeah. to another holiday apartment, aren't we? What, today? For one today. sleep, yeah. One sleep and then back to Shargal Island yeah. and back home, yeah? We've been saying how nice it is to be in a different like weather environment and how nice it feels to be in the mountains and have those crispy cool mornings that's cool something climate. I miss. Like pine trees. Wrapping up in a blanket, yeah, the smell of the pine. It's really, really lovely. Have you got your pine cones? Yeah. Good. Take it <laughs> home with us. Yeah. A little souvenir of our trip to Bukit Nan. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and we will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.